Welcome back. Well, crime is one of the leading issues facing this country, and combating this scourge is the government's top priority. Today, Urban Renewal, along with the police and other social partners, continued their aggressive response to the concerns of residents regarding the growing number of abandoned buildings on Grand Bahama. Joan Davis Roll reports. The bulldozers and other heavy equipment have rolled in to not only demolish a crime-infested haven, but to help dismantle the criminal element, as urban renewal attempts to strike at the core of where they breed, live, and for many years have flourished. During the heyday of Freeport, the Monaco apartments on Ponceana Drive, Freeport, was where many families called home. But over the years, the building was left abandoned, falling into a state of disrepair. Inspector Henry Rolls says the bold initiative undertaken by Urban Renewal has helped to take their crime-fighting efforts to another level. This will show that um, we are serious about what we do. Um, we encourage um, members of the public to get involved and to, to help us because crime is a serious problem throughout the Bahama Islands. And this year, I, like I said, will uh, teach persons a lesson that crime does not pay. Urban Renewal officials led by Deputy Director Michelle Reckley says this latest demolition is an ongoing effort and could not have been made possible without a partnership between the private and public sector. Officials, though, got a shock when they moved in Tuesday morning. We've had phone calls where residents from right across the street has been calling, complaining about vagrancy in this building, persons on this side not safe, and who would want to live in a surrounding like this? So we are here today partnering with the Grand Bahama Port Authority in removing this whole apartment building complex. Believe it or not, when we came this morning, we found someone who actually lived, occupied one of these units. And after the team from Urban, along with the police, did a check of the building, he removed his bags, and we're not sure where he's gonna go, but it is our duty to find him, find out, and find some relief for him. Reckley says she is confident that urban renewal is gaining ground as she's putting the criminal element on notice as they attempt to reclaim all crime-ridden areas one community at a time. We intend to go throughout the length and breadth of Grand Bahama, finding these places that are not safe, finding these places that would harbor criminals, and we want to clear them down. We want to have them removed. These properties can be parks. They can be areas that the neighbors play on, that the neighbors get together and do picnics. But we, we want to make sure that every neighborhood in Grand Bahama is safe. This latest initiative is in keeping with the overall urban renewal mandate to not only touch lives, but to change communities. For reporting for ZNS News, I'm Joe Davis-Roll.